everyone is fine everything's fine calm down just pray to Jesus 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 take the wheel it's always Jesus 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 what about your house shot man <laughs> you see the so-called white man is getting away with everything under the Sun breaking every law in the book okay blatantly and not and 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 and, and not repenting for it whatsoever okay He's the so-called Jew. He gets no. He gets no questions. He gets no inquiries as to why he's able to. Uh, I'm sorry. How he's able to prove his bloodline? All the questions that uh, that the scoffers and scorners, the Christians like to ask us. Why don't you ask the so-called white man, who's publicly accepted as the as the as the, uh, as the Israelites, as the Jews, as you like to call them? You see, they don't even the so-called uh, uh, Jews over there uh, don't uh, account for the other 10 tribes okay you still got the whole northern kingdom that's just completely not accounted for not talked about and he doesn't get asked any questions okay uh, verse uh, 12 were they ashamed when they co had committed abomination no they weren't worshiping uh, Semiramis and Tammuz okay uh, uh, mo mother Mary and sweet Jesus no, you weren't ashamed when you committed abomination. Those are abominable uh, 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 gods, man. Those are other gods, okay? And that's an abomination in the eyes of the true, of the true power, of the true Most High, Yahweh Shimei Al Shai, okay? Nay, they were not ashamed at all. I'm sorry. Nay, they were not at all ashamed. Neither could they blush. Therefore, which means consequently, they, I'm sorry, therefore shall they fall among them that fall in the time of their visitation, during the time that the Lord looks and sees all your wicked works that you've been doing, okay, in the time of their visitation, shall they be cast down, saith Yahweh, okay? If you go in the Hebrew there, that word there is Yahweh, which means he is, okay? That is uh, the Lord, that is the most high power, okay? And so the Lord, these are the Lord's words, okay? And he is using his men, his prophets, to preach those words unto the people. You see? The last scripture that I wanted to get was in uh, 2 Corinthians, uh, the fourth chapter. I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. Since we have received the mercies of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, I'm speaking uh, uh, to uh, the men who have been baptized in the, in the name of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, okay? Seeing therefore we have obtained, uh, uh, we have this ministry and we have received mercy, we faint not, okay? We continue to strive to the truth until death, okay? Or until Yahweh Shem Yahshua delivers us, whichever one comes first. But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of the Most High deceitfully. Okay, and the uh, the word of the Most High is handled deceitfully by uh, the Christian uh, uh, pastors. Okay, by the uh, the Christian preachers, by the priests. Okay, the Roman Catholics. <laughs> the list goes on and on. Okay. But, man, uh, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of the Most High. So the Most High is our witness. You see, we are manifest, we're manifesting the truth in the sight of these people, and the Most High is our witness. Just like how the Most High uh, was Yahweh Shai's witness when he was preaching uh, 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 in, uh, in Jerusalem and in other areas of Israel. Okay, verse 3. But if our gospel, if our good news, okay, if our if our uh, uh, gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are, that are lost. So if a, if a if a man can't get it, if a woman can't get it, if somebody can't get it, it is hid to them that are lost. Okay. And uh, the Most High, I'm sorry. And Yahweh Shai said He has not come but for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay, so the word is only uh, spoken to the to the lost uh, uh, Israelites. Okay, and at that time he said that uh, 
the Holy Spirit hadn't been poured out to his to his elect yet, okay, completely, and 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 it still hasn't uh, completely. The the elect still haven't completely been sealed yet, okay. But the elect are only of the nation of Israel, according to Revelation the seventh chapter, okay. So it says, if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. For example, case in point, uh, during the time of Acts, Saul was persecuting the church. He was lost, but when Yahweh was made uh, uh, revealed unto him. He became baptized in the name of Yahweh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh okay? And then his eyes were opened spiritually. He was walking in that light, okay? But those who are lost uh, are blinded, okay? According to Isaiah chapter 6 and 9, okay? Let me continue on in uh, 2 Corinthians 4. Uh, in verse 4, it says, In whom the power of this world, who is the God of this world? Satan, hath blinded the minds of them, which believe not, okay? So their minds are blinded, okay? And that's the majority of the people. That's the majority of our people, man, that are blinded by Satan. They have demons on them, okay? Which don't allow them to come into the truth because it's the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai that they don't come into the truth. You see? Uh, it says, In whom the power of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, Lest the light of the glorious gospel of the Most High, I'm sorry, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, which is Hebrew, uh, Paleo Hebrew for uh, uh, anointed or Messiah, okay, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. And so that image of the Most High is Yahweh Shai. People think that Jesus, the Messiah, is a so called white man. Hello, he's totally not. Let's get Revelation and close it out, because that's what another that's another uh, 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 pivotal point that, and we're gonna keep harping on it, because the Christian the Christ, Christianity, the center of that is what the Roman Catholic Church, and guess what they guess what their image is a so called white man. So until they denounce that image, we're gonna keep bringing the scripture out. This is Revelation chapter one, verse thirteen. Okay, matter of fact, let's start with the first verse. The revelation of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, which the Most High gave unto him to show unto his servants, or his servants, the Israelites, uh, the, the, the elect of the nation of Israel, things which must shortly come to pass. So this is the revelation of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, okay? This isn't the revelation of uh, Buddha or the revelation of, this is talking about the Messiah here, okay? Now that that's been established, if you go to the 13th verse, it says, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. Who is the Son of Man? Yahweh Shai, the Messiah, the only begotten Son of the Most High. Okay? In the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment, down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. Okay? And so how we have our garments, uh, his, his, uh, his garment was all the way down to his feet and it was uh and it was a uh, uh, a golden he had a golden girdle okay around his around his waist okay it says verse 14 his head and his hairs were white like wool okay now the texture of wool is very curly it's kind of pretty thick you know it's not stringy uh and, and straight like the uh image that is portrayed in the modern day uh, Roman Catholic Church, okay. Also, it says it was white, okay. His head, the head, the hairs on his head were white, okay. And uh, and his beard was also white and woolly, okay. It says, uh, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, okay. Verse fifteen, and his feet were like unto, and his feet like unto fine brass as if they burned in a furnace. So is the image of uh, Jesus Christ, do his feet, which are the same uh, uh, complexion as the rest of his body, do his feet depict the, uh, uh, the complexion of burned brass? I don't think so. I think, his, I think the image of Jesus Christ, according to the Roman Catholics, uh, his his feet and the rest of his uh, skin color is uh, 
more of a lighter complexion. If you Google Jesus Christ, you won't see any dark skinned uh, images of him. But if you Google Yahweh Shai, which is the true image of uh, the only begotten son of the Heavenly Father, you will see that he is a. Uh, 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 the skin, the skin, the skin tone is dark skin. Okay. Verse fifteen it says, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. Okay. And so, Christianity, their doctrine is is full of holes. You know, it's very uh, very uh, stale. You know, when you're in the spirit. It's easy to it's easy to debunk these uh these questions that they have you know and uh you know the false the 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 the, uh, the unbelievers you know they had a bunch of questions for Yahweh Shai trying to you know trip him up but through the spirit he always what he always answered it he kept it cool calm and collected and ultimately the reason why he did that was uh for his for the elect's sake you see he wasn't he I mean, you know Yahweh Shai knew who uh, was going to be delivered and who wasn't going to be delivered. Okay, he came for he came for his for his men. Okay, which doesn't include everybody. Okay, so of course Christianity is going to jump up and they're going to have their debates, but through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, uh, we pray that uh, this video was edifying. Until next time, we say Shalom.